I remember after some real tough, tough stretch, <clears throat> yeah, I guess it was in the late summer of 2000, although it was starting to turn, but it was still just grindingly difficult. And you get political battles, the prime minister, the members of the parliament, uh, all kinds of issues that you're dealing with. You know, I remember I called up the chairman one time, chairman of the Joint Chiefs, and I said, hey, Admiral, hey, I just want you to know, you know, this is not the easiest thing in the world, and I hope you guys have some sense. Because uh, remember, you know, my own chain of command initially uh, for the first, I don't know, seven, eight months um, through the September testimony, uh, really, by and large, wanted to draw down uh, and, and hand off, which is what we tried already and had failed. But uh, there was not enormous uh, unbounded confidence that we were going to be able to do what we ultimately did. But he said, yeah, I got it, Dave, you know, and, and you know, we won't leave you there forever. Uh, I said, I, you know, and I actually called, I apologized later. I said, I, but except that, you know, somebody needs to know, you know, I wasn't going to tell my wife, I wasn't going to tell, any, you know, you, you got to, that's the challenge. That is the loneliness of command, as they say. General Odierno and I every now and then would sit there and say, Ray, you know, when is this thing going to turn? What's your take? You know, I got to testify in two and a half months here. Um, we're going to have to have, this may not, I knew we could do what we did do. I wasn't certain we could do it in time to have demonstrable results to report at the hearings, at those very emotional hearings in September of 2007. And thankfully, eight of the final 11 weeks leading up to those hearings uh, had quite dramatic progress, quite dramatic reductions in the level of violence. If we'd not had that, it's not, it's not inconceivable that the policy uh, could have been lost.